All right, guys. I'd rather go to the gym. Sam's gonna do his little dress scoop business. I'm only gonna do half. I drank coffee already. I don't want my heart to pump out of my chest. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. I think that was a lot. What's up, squad? Welcome back to our channel. I hope everybody's having a beautiful day today. Today's actually a pretty big day. We're finishing up our Q&A video. It's gonna be a pretty big giveaway, so just stay tuned until the end to see what it is. We're at the gym, so let's get it in. Okay, this is our warm up right here. Truth or dare? Truth or dare? Yeah. Dare. Okay. I dare you to do 40 with dumbbell single arm row. Easy work. Does? However many you can do. Let's do it. Higher weight, that was too easy. And our gym is an outside gym. There is usually a lot of shirtless people out here, like that one right there. I'm gonna become one of those shirtless. <laughs> shirtless men. Not a douchebag, not a douchebag. <laughs> Uno, dos. Yeah. What the heck? I'm tired. Do another one. Redemption. <laughs> Truth or dare? Dare. I don't have anything. Why do you say truth? I was hoping you would say truth. Say truth. <laughs> but I don't have anything for truth either. <laughs> I will be attempting to do muscle. He will be doing them. I don't know if I can do a muscle. What's up guys? So we are gonna start our Q&A video right now and we have quite a few questions that you guys sent in so some interesting ones some questions that aren't even questions but um <laughs> Explain your guys tattoo So I have um two tattoos in total I have this lotus right here, and it has a little bit of a geometric um, additive to it. And then I have my moon right here. My moon, um, I got that tattoo as a representation for my dog. Her name is Luna. I always knew that I wanted to get a lotus just because I've always liked the lotus flower and the meaning behind it. Um, if you guys aren't aware, lotus flowers grow in the dirtiest of mud. And the dirtier the water, the more beautiful that it grows into. So for me, I just see that kind of as a representation for my life. Um, the harder things that you go through, the stronger you come out of it. And I just like that. I guess it's my turn. So I'll start with uh, the lion. I got this when I was 17. I was still in high school, so my mom had to sign a paper off saying that I'm, I'm able to get it. I waited until I was 18 to get my tattoos. <laughs> and then I got this one. And then I got this one. So, with my lion tattoo, there's not really a really big meaning. I just love lions and I see myself as a leader, so that's my spirit animal. And then, let's do... This, I actually got this anchor with my cousin. We went down to PB, Pacific Beach in San Diego. And we're just like, F it, let's, let's get an anchor. This one, it says believe, and I got a one as the I because you have to believe you're number one to do anything. How did Dom Squad meet and start working out together? That's a very... Good question. You want to start? <laughs> <laughs> so we've known each other since high school. Sophomore um, year. Yeah, our 10th grade. Had a history class together. And I sat right behind her. I was all like, damn, this girl in front of me, she cute. Whatever, but he, would, he but always just asked for my answers. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Both graduated high school in 2015. And since then, never saw each other for like, what? Four, four years. Four years. Never. We graduated in 2015 and it's 2019. And we barely... We barely got back in contact. In January. In January. But even in, in high January. school, even in high school, we weren't even like all that We close. were friends, but we just had more mutual friends. Yeah. And when we passed by each other, it, it was, was always like, hi, Dom, hi, Dom. Like, we always had that little hey dog kind of thing, but... because she wasn't into me oh. back then, that's why. I didn't think you would even think I was cute back then. Oh my god. I mean, I was obviously the star of the back. He was the cheerleader. Perfect. Captains, too. Captains, captains. Captains. That would have been so cute. But, long story. So, we barely started talking in January because my boy, Julian, wanted to do short film. 
and he asked me if I knew anybody who was short and Filipino and I didn't know anybody <laughs> Short and Filipino besides Dominique and I've never I haven't talked to her in like four years So I was like, okay, that's gonna be kind of weird. It's like he reached out to me just for that video Like I, there was nothing else. It I, was I literally just hit her up like okay My boy wants to know if, if you're interested in doing a video um, If you are just hit him up and that was it. That was my part. I was keeping it business Okay, I wasn't even, I wasn't thinking oh anything God. further <laughs> Yeah, from there. I guess we were driving a lot, like to different locations to film. So we were all in the car together, just like having conversation. And Julian brought up relationships, like if I was single and then. Yeah, he did. But I was in the back and I was dying. Was, I was like, freaking sick. sick. But yeah, my boy brought up relationships. And Dominique goes, <laughs> I actually like being single. And I'm in the back, like, oh. Dang. Okay, I'm not gonna say nothing then. There was a little spark. I felt it already. <laughs> but after she said that, I was like, dang, I'm just gonna keep Shut quiet. Down. I'm not gonna say nothing. Obviously, I couldn't be like, oh my god, Dominic, like, please, <laughs> make a move on me. <laughs> but, I mean, as time went on, we started working out together, and I still was, like, keeping it, okay, we're just working out. That day, we were planning to hit legs. And I had posted a selfie on my story and he swiped up and was like, happy like day Eve. Okay, but so that I is when I knew. <laughs> it's not business anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I guess that's the beauty of it because we both weren't expecting anything, really. We are just... We just love the gym. Yeah, we're just going to the gym, hanging out, and I guess just catching up. We haven't seen each other in for like four years and... It was crazy how fast we could re like reconnect with each other without seeing each other for so long. Yeah. But and it flew. It like was fluid. Like there was yeah, no was... weirdness or anything. Right. He asked me if I ever shoot my shot, and I said no. I always let the guy do it first, and then I asked you how you do it, and then you were like, oh, I text people more consistently, <laughs> and then from that from that day, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna see if he starts texting me more consistently. <laughs> And he did. I guess that leads to the next question. Are you guys together? <laughs> Look, I haven't popped off the question yet, okay? And I'm not going to. And <laughs> but don't that don't mean none of you guys can try to get in her DMs so I know who you guys are, so don't try. <laughs> I just haven't I just haven't popped the question yet, okay? These things take time and I want it to be Perfect. Is it bad to drink a protein shake with milk? No. I drink mine with milk. I drink mine with, mine with milk. I all think the it time. tastes better like that. What made you guys want to start a channel? Damn, what made us want to start a channel? When I was younger. I always, I always saw myself doing YouTube. I started a YouTube channel back in middle school. People who knew me in middle school, you probably remember Unique like Dominique. <laughs> I used to do like music videos. I did nail videos. The point of our YouTube channel is we want to keep people motivated. We want people to come here and we want to put a smile on people's faces. We just want to make people happy with our videos. No bad negativity um, when you come to our channel. It's just everything's fun and adventurous. Yeah. It's not just fitness. It's just it's going to be a lot of stuff. So Live be prepared for that. Favorite cheat meal. Ooh, I like that question. What's your favorite cheat meal? But my cheat meal is always Jack in the Box. That munchy meal, you already know all my people. Which I love In and Out. My go-to is Jack in the Box. I love In and Out. Munchy meal. I love munchy meal. That's my dinner every night, anyway. <laughs> we um, honestly don't even eat healthy to begin with. Yeah, we just go hard in the gym. So yeah, calorie, we, I don't count calories. We don't meal prep, but we should. We should start. I Maybe we will. Any tips for beginners who are just starting to work out? and trying to shed fat faster and trying to get a flat stomach. For just starting in the gym, just consistency. You don't have to stay for hours on end at the gym. Just arriving there, being at the gym, that's just the start of it, is just showing up. Okay, everyone thinks that to shed fat, you need to do cardio, 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 cardio. I did not do any cardio when I first started working out. I started, I just followed like fitness people on YouTube and I copied what they were doing at first and I, there were no cardio workouts. It was all weightlifting. Yeah, because the point is you have to gain muscle to lose weight. It's better to lift weight because once you get that muscle, it's going to be way easier to shed off the extra fat that you don't want. And I'm telling
telling you, there are days where I lift weight and I sweat more than I do when I do cardio. Oh, what shoes do you work out in? I work out in Vans all the time. I work out in Converse, doing and, like legs and everything. Yeah. We want our feet to be flat on the ground. Yeah, so you get more contact. And we don't do cardio anyway, so we're not going to injure Wait, stop. Feet from the <laughs> We don't do cardio all the time. Okay, we do it like we... once a week. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, we do. Okay. We don't do cardio. We don't do cardio. See what you're trying to play. <laughs> but we do cardio. There we do a days. lot of hit. Yeah, we do hit. So we, we don't sweat a do lot. Like, we don't run in our converse, basically. What's up, Uncle Mark? <laughs> What's up? We're actually, we're actually filming right now. Let's say what's up. What's up? <laughs> it's Dom. Hey, okay, what's up, girl? Hey, hi. Good. How are you? <laughs> hey, listen. I'm gonna give you your props for getting your workout on. I'm, I'm very impressed. Y'all would make a cool couple. Thank you for that. Thank you. <laughs> How do I make my man dye his hair to match mine? <laughs> I don't know. Well, mine and Dom, we try to get get our hair the same color, but right now so mine we, is looking more blonde yeah. than gray, so I have to tone it out more. And we're gonna right? put yeah more gray in. Yeah, so I have to put more gray in mine. What kept you motivated when you first started your fitness journey? I played sports my whole life, like working out, and it was just all natural to me always. When I stopped playing sports, I just kept up with going to the gym. It was up with it, and I just made it consistent. I made it a habit. So when I go to the gym now, I don't, I don't really think twice. I just go. It's, it's just a habit. Um, in high school, that's when I started cheer. So I did high school cheer, and then I also ventured off to doing competitive cheerleading. And I guess competitive cheerleading is when I started seeing changes in my body from actually like working out because we would do a lot. Of conditioning and then after high school I stopped cheering and really like didn't work out at all I was kind of in a dark place so the gym was kind of like my outlet to go ahead and relieve my stress or whatever anxiety I was feeling and I just fell in love with lifting you literally have the ability to do anything you want to do and in high school she already had a little she had a little <laughs> nice booty too <laughs> I was skinny in high school. I was Still, like... I had that booty, but... <laughs> what days will a new episode be? We were thinking like two times during the week and one weekend. Uh, what's better for increasing muscle mass? Low weight, high rep, high weight, low rep. Usually how I work out in the gym, I like to go heavy one week <laughs> and then I like to go light another week. I like switching it up. When I want to work low weight, that's when I'm trying to like cut up a little bit. So I'll do low weight would be something like three sets of 15. If I want to go heavy, I'm trying to gain strength. I'll do like four sets of five or three. So super heavy. So when you're going heavy, you're basically, you're trying to gain strength. If you want to get bigger, you got to eat. I, that's what I'm trying to do right now. So I'm trying, my goal, calorie goal is trying to eat like over 3000 calories. Fave RB at UC after you left. <laughs> Marcel Peterson, you my fave RB, bro. This one says, no questions, just shout out to y'all, lol. I'll be watching it at work. <laughs> Any advice on healthy eating with busy schedule besides meal prep? Oh, jeez. This is literally my life. Because I don't meal prep. <laughs> and I feel like I'm constantly having to do something. Um, I guess healthy eating. First of all, oatmeal for breakfast is like number one. Get that out of the way. Um, as for like my go-to restaurants that are kind of healthy-ish. <laughs> I just eat, okay? He will eat whatever. Sometimes I'm like, I don't know if I want to eat this bad again. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't answer that question. How do you stay motivated to hit the gym? Do you have a specific diet you follow? Um, honestly... No on the diet. I think just staying motivated, it's hard to be motivated. Like I said earlier, you just have to show up. Once you get in the gym, you're already there. You took the time to drive over there, you might as well work out. I think once you do start consistently working out, you'll be able to see how your body's changing, how your mind, like your mentality changes. And I think that's just really what gets the ball rolling. And yeah, when people ask me like, how do you stay motivated? It's really just, really a process because people go to the gym and they expect to lose or gain weight like really fast. Mm -hmm. And that's not true, that's not gonna happen. I mean, it could happen, but like overall like- It's not gonna happen after one session. Exactly, so what I'm trying to say is like, it, it takes time and not a lot of people get that they want it like right now and even just if you, keep going yeah. with it and 
even when you don't feel like you want to go to the gym, go to the gym because get your ass up and go yeah, to because gym. you are practicing your willpower, and your willpower is it's kind of like a muscle because if you don't go, then um, you're gonna lose it. You're gonna lose it. If you go when you don't want to go, it's gonna be easier and easier as time goes by. And also, I think another thing too is surrounding yourself with people who have that same goal in mind. Don't make going to the gym feel like a chore because then your motivation is not going to be there at all. <laughs> so, okay. that completes our Q&A. Thank Excellent. you guys for all the questions. They were really interesting. Some of them were really funny. I hope you guys can continue to grow with us. Enjoy this journey with us because it's going to be fun. It's Oh my god, it's a giveaway. Yeah, 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 a giveaway. Oh, we have this. The so important. the giveaway we will be giving away a hundred dollars to a random person just saying thank you for subscribing to our channel we will basically enter every subscriber that we get mm -hmm. up until may 10th and we're just going to put your name in a little jar or i mean or really that concludes our video for today i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below yeah until next time, Sounds don't squat out. out. I feel like you didn't do the other side as... Professional? As thick like I'm... I'm Are you kidding me? I slapped on so much product. Don't trip, don't trip. <laughs>